Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know I said that this video was going to be out yesterday, but I had a small family issue I needed to deal with and be a part of, so it took me away pretty much the entire day. So I have stayed up just to finish this video. It is like 2 a.m. I am so tired, but I promised you guys I would have it, and I have it. Um, this was basically, this covers Lisa all the way from, uh, late Sunday night, Monday morning, early Monday morning, all the way up until last night. Um, she did end up coming back after my last clip, but I had already put everything together. I had already rendered it and I was not going to add to it because this video is already long enough. It gets really bad. Like, I think this is the worst I've ever seen Lisa. And it just, it gets from bad to worse in 10 seconds. Like, it's absolutely crazy. The biggest thing I can say is stop sending her money. Stop sending her gift cards. It's not going to cigarettes. It's not going to food everything you give her is going to her dealer uh in there is a clip in here where he calls her and you can clearly hear him say you have 40 dollars." why would he call her and tell her that well because she uses his cash apps the money that is given to her goes directly to her dealer and then he gives her what she wants so he'll, he'll call her, even during her lives, he will call her, let her know how much she just got, and that way she knows. Now, somewhere in the end of this call, he states, or it sounds like he says, something about keep in mind now, like, you're not getting any more shit from me until I get $50. <clears throat> Other people have heard that as well. That's exactly what it sounds like. Now, I will put the original clip, and then right after it, I will put the enhanced clip. I was able to go into my editor and enhance the his vocals um, without hers. I removed her voice, and I enhanced his. That way you can hear what he's saying. The problem is, is he's so low in that last bit that no matter how much I try to enhance it, I cannot get his voice. I cannot get what he is saying. But even without the enhance, you can clearly hear him say, blah, 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 you're not getting shit from me anymore until $50. Like, we're still missing that one piece in between um, me and $50. So putting two and two together, he's basically telling her that she, she has to pay him $50 if she wants any more. <clears throat> so, of course, she's frantically trying to get more money after that, even though we know that she just had got $40. Um, during, the, what, at, during the call, she calls the person on the phone, Abby, and then Diesel. Diesel is Abby's boyfriend, Abby being her oldest daughter. Um, then, later, claims that it was her brother that she was speaking to, and it's like, Oh my God. Now, do you guys remember Saturday? I believe it was Saturday. It was either Saturday or Sunday. Early Sunday. It might have been Saturday. I can't remember now. There's so much. She goes live so freaking often begging that it's hard to keep up with what day it was. And the fact that she keeps wearing the same outfit, the same shirt constantly, that's also difficult. But if you remember, she came on at one point claiming that somebody sent her $15 in her PayPal, or, I'm sorry, in her PP, and <clears throat> that somebody transferred that $15 to Justin, which is her dealer. She claims that she went to confront this kid who supposedly got into her PP and transferred this money out. She went to Justin's banged on his door, screamed in his window. He comes out, supposedly. He pushed her to the ground and put his knee in her rib. Everybody remembers this. Does everybody also remember that the next time she goes live, same day, 
she changes the story and tells people that a drunk man pushed her to the ground. Well, guess what? <laughs> Tonight, she changed the story again, claiming that Justin was beating up his girlfriend, Erica, and she went out to help Erica, and Justin tackled her to the ground. So, yeah, it's... That's, that story has changed now three times. We all know nobody touched her. Justin didn't push her. He didn't do anything to her. Her rib is fine. It always was. It's just one elaborate story after another elaborate story just so she could try and do another money grab scam. And that's what she does. Just like her whole lying again today saying she was going to a new clinic and then she's going to her original clinic but then oops out of nowhere she's going to rehab but she's not going to go to rehab if nobody sends her money so she doesn't go now all of a sudden she has to go on wednesday regardless they're kicking out of the clinic i don't buy any of this i wouldn't be surprised if she's not being kicked out of the clinic and that they're starting to wean her down but we don't know again i don't know but she has lied about going to rehab now umpteenth zillion times and never goes she uses the rehab as a money grab scam because it worked so well before even up until last week it worked she made so much money last week claiming she was going to go to rehab but then oops she didn't go now all of a sudden she has a greyhound ticket she was gonna she was supposed to get on there to Day, but because nobody sent her money she didn't get on the bus uh, the first time she mentioned it there was one transfer stop then three transfer stops then later two transfer stops we all know she's not going we all know there was no Greyhound ticket people in the chat asked her so many times to show the bus ticket she ignored them just like she continues to ignore anybody asking her what happened to your $679 in food stamps you got just a week ago? She ignores that as well. So, and then it just gets insane, like crazy insane, where she is blaming us again for why she's not going to rehab. It's all our fault. We're going to feel really bad if something horrible happens to her. Like, it, it goes there. Anyways, I'm going to shut my pie hole so that you can watch this long video but i promise you it's long but it's well worth the watch enjoy the video um uh, 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 um uh, wait a minute wait a minute uh, <laughs> Honestly, the way she's like behaving and sounding, you'd think there was a complete death in her family, and she's frantically trying to figure out what happened. But no, it's just for money so she can buy drugs. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Can you guys please share? Please, please, please share, 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 share. I know a lot of the people I share too aren't going to help, but it'll at least like help, please, please, because I'm like really late. I'm like late, like really late. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, all of her. Uh, original TikTok accounts were suspended, so she had to create another one, and I guess nobody could find her. Uh, well, except for the people that tell the truth about her, but her enablers, or quote-unquote friends, couldn't find her according to her. Basically, the truth is, they figured her out. They're done with her bullshit, so they've left. Really late. <laughs> What's wrong is I need... 20 more dollars to go to my thing and I, they keep shutting off my stuff <laughs> that's what's wrong babe and i just oh my god <laughs> nobody 
understand. If I don't go this time, it's going to be done. It's going to be done. <laughs> what she's talking about right here is rehab, but she hasn't quite said the word rehab yet because I don't think she was quite sold in her own mind that she was ready to use this lie again. So she just kept saying thing and making people think it was clinic, which is basically where she was going was the clinic, not rehab. And then I guess she just gets comfortable enough to lie and say rehab. Nobody's liking, nobody's sharing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's a breathe, okay. If anybody can help with even a dollar, two dollars, anything, okay, please. Dizzler74, pinned is my CA, please. D-I-Z-Z-L-E-R-7-4, please, please, please. I, I, I. If you haven't noticed most mornings, the cash app she wants you to send money to is Dizzler74. That is Justin, her dealer. Of course, it's got to go in there so that she can get her fix as soon as she leaves the methadone clinic. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I just, I don't. It's not the, it's, it's none of my friends. It's all of his friends. It's all of his friends that, um, yeah. It's okay. I mean, that's okay. But I just needed some help. I was supposed to, to leave at 6. I was supposed to leave at 6. So, yeah. There's that. There's that. I was supposed to leave at 6. I was supposed to leave at 6, you guys. I'm not going to make it. I'm not. I'm not. Breathe, Lisa. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um, <sighs> Are you just staring at me? Just staring at me. <laughs> That's probably the freaking rehab. Like, like, oh, you're done. Bye. Yeah, first she tried claiming at like four in the morning. The new clinic called her and told her that there was going to be a five hour intake. Um, now all of a sudden rehab is texting her <laughs> at six in the morning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, none of this makes sense because it's all lies, every bit of it. Over. I can't, I can't even type. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably are. Keep you. No, I'm not going to the clinic. I need money to go to the. <sighs> Of this just year, please, just please stop. All I wanted was for him to come visit me in a dream. Please stop. And I finally got my wish. Last week, he came to visit me in a dream. And he also happened to visit my husband in a dream on the same night. So. They probably are confused about the account, though, honey, and I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to get it get it like more out there. Can you guys please share and like the live? I don't know what to um this is my last shot.
I'm going to stay calm. It's my last shot. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's definitely not her last shot. It's not like if she doesn't go right now that every rehab in the country is going to deny her. My cat agreed. It's my last shot. Okay, guys. This is my last shot. Okay. <laughs> This is my last shot. I'm not okay. I need ten dollars so I can get smokes and a cup and I need to get food when we get off the bus and things and this isn't just going very well, ma'am, that's all. It just isn't going very well. Not at all. Not at all. <sighs> <sighs> This is just isn't going good. Um. Uh, I, I, I'm getting so confused because I don't even know why. Because I'm so frazzled. Oh no, that's not right. I'm putting the wrong thing. I'm almost wondering, was her account suspended? Or did she start a new account hoping... That when she went live all these new people would join and that all of us wouldn't find her and that way she could scam new people out of money unfortunately for lisa everybody found her i'm sorry guys Jared, um, or chime It won't. It won't. Nobody's helping me, ma'am. They're just laughing at me. But um, I need twenty dollars. The cash app is C H A Z Z seven hundred, and my chime is Help Lisa L I S A Help Lisa X O. If anybody can help at all. It doesn't have to be ten dollars. Any, it could be a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, anything. Just pl please, I don't know what. Remember her saying that coming up soon, that you know anything helps. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Remember that when somebody sends one dollar. I just. <sighs> I'm 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 late and I'm and I'm trying to get it, you know. And Chaz Seven Hundred is the Cash App, and then I have Chime, which is Help Lisa X O. That's my Chime. Can I send you? I mean, people can send this right here is Chaz Seven Hundred, or um, like I said, I have Chime. I changed my Chime to Help. Lisa, L-I-S-A-X-O. That's what I change um, it to. Help Lisa, L-I-S-H-E-L-P-L-I-S-A-X-O. -E I was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock. I told my dad, just please, wait a minute. I got to try to get this because if I'm in there and I'm like already stressed like this, it's not going to go too well. It's not going to go too well. I was supposed to go an hour ago. I was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock. So right here is is the CA. Um, C-H-A-Z-Z 700. Chaz 700. And Chime. Chime is um, Help Lisa. H-E-L-P-L-I-S-A. I'm Lisa. Help Lisa. XO. Okay. I take leftover pizza. What do you mean, ma'am? <laughs> Look at these people. Oh, here we go with the trolling. Please st please stop. Please stop. Please stop. I'm just trying to get I'm just I'm just trying to get smokes and just trying to get money so I can eat when I get off the bus and the whole bus eats. Can you please stop? Please. Please. Like, just please. I can't take much more. Uh, can anybody please help me? Please. I want to leave the... the...
<laughs> the later I leave, the more chance it's going to be that I don't get a bed. I don't know why. I don't want to know. Nobody's helping me, ma'am. They're just laughing at me. But um, I need $20. The cash app is C-H-A-Z-Z 700. And my chime is help Lisa, L-I-S-A. Help Lisa XO. If anybody can help at all, it doesn't have to be ten dollars. Any, it could be a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, anything. Just p please. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't. I'm, I, I'm at my wit's end, guys. If you can't, if you can't tell, if you can't tell, if you can't tell. I'm going to rehab Miss Coca and I've been needing to go and I'm catching a greyhound and when and I'm doing two transfers. So when we get off, I need money to eat and I also wanted to get a pack of smokes if I could. But if not, eating is more important. That, that that's what it's for. And yeah, technically it's not for either one of those things, but please do continue, Lisa. I just <sighs> I'm 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 late and I'm and I'm trying to get it, you know. And Chaz Seven Hundred is the Cash App, and then I have Chime, which is Help Lisa X O. That's my Chime. Can I send you? I mean, people can send this right here is Chaz Seven Hundred, or um, like I said, I have Chime. I changed my Chime to Help. Lisa, L-I-S-A-X-O. That's what I changed um, it to. Help Lisa, L-I-S-H-E-L-P-L-I-S-A-X-O. I was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock. I told my dad, just please wait a minute. I got to try to get this because if I'm in there and I'm like already stressed like this. Okay, like. First of all, her dad's not going to sit out there and wait for her for a freaking hour, hour and a half for her to sit on TikTok and act like a fucking idiot. He doesn't even like seeing her get on TikTok in his presence. Second, he didn't even sit there and wait for her for an hour and a half when she was supposedly talking to her counselor that day and missed her dose because she was in with her counselor for an hour and a half. And Lisa said that he didn't want to wait, so he went home. So... If he's not even going to sit outside the clinic, which I seriously doubt that happened. But anyways, let's say hypothetically, he decided he wasn't going to sit outside the clinic and wait for her. Why the hell is he going to sit outside of her apartment in his car for hours and hours and hours while Lisa sits on TikTok in her apartment begging and crying and whining for money? It's not going to happen. He's not going to allow it. He, he's going to be like, okay, and when you're done being a fucking idiot, I will come and pick you up. It's not going to go too well. It's not going to go too well. I was supposed to go an hour ago. I was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock. So right here is is the CA, um, C-H-A-Z-Z 700, Chaz 700, and Chime, Chime is... um. Help Lisa, H-E-L-P-L-I-S-A, I'm Lisa, help Lisa X-O, okay, I take leftover pizza, what do you mean ma'am, <laughs> look at these people, well technically she does have a point Lisa, you just take some leftover pizza, fold it up in some tin foil, or put it in a Ziploc baggie, hell you can just wrap it up in, in, in paper towel if you want to, Shove it in your purse and away you go. There you've got food. Oh, here we go with the trolling. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. I'm just trying to get I'm just I'm just trying to get smokes and just trying to get money so I can eat when I get off the bus and the whole bus eats. Can you please stop? Please. Please. Like just please. I can't take much more. Uh, can anybody please help me, please? I want to leave the... The, <laughs> the later I leave, the more chance it's going to be that I don't get a bed. Well, we know you're not going, but even if you were, how is that our problem? 
I don't know why. I don't want to understand that. I did the five-hour intake. Dude, I was flipping on everybody today at that place. I'm surprised they even accepted me, to be honest. Oh, my. Hello, Moto. Hold on a second. Let me do not. Dude, I was flipping, you guys. Flipping. It's makeup. It's it's makeup. Well, let me tell you the story, okay? Let me tell you the story, okay? First, I went to my normal clinic, okay? Because I wanted to dose and not wait six hours to dose, okay? So I go there. I'm fighting with them, fighting with them, fighting with them, all right? So I dose, I leave, all right? I go to the new place, all right? It, it was just a shit show. An absolute shit show. And no offense, Lisa, but if you were involved in whatever this was, we can almost guarantee it was a shit show. And I had no patience for it today. None. None. Like It was just, I'm honestly surprised that they took me. I, I really, 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 really am. My my CA is still there. Do you have the, the new CA? The R. Pray, pray. Oh my God. Okay. Pray for Lisa, but don't send her any food. Don't let her get any cigarettes. Don't send her ten dollars for smokes. Don't do any of that. Just. Pretend like you care about her online. Okay. Well, prayers are free. And your drug habit is not. It's actually quite expensive and costing everybody quite a lot of money. And since it's nobody's responsibility to fund your drug habit, then yes, prayers are all you're going to get. Okay. And pray for her. So tired of hearing that bullshit. Well, to be fair, Lisa, everybody's tired of hearing your bullshit. No, none of you do owe me anything. None of you. N none of you guys owe me anything. I was just asking for help. That was it. None of you guys owe me shit. I never said that you did. Uh... Now, now I'm entitled because I said that none of you guys owe me anything. No, you're entitled because you sit here and whine constantly, begging for money for things it's not going to. Then when somebody does give you money or multiple give you, people give you money, you barely say thank you. You just shut off your live stream and then you come back two hours later high off your ass and start begging for money again so that you can get your next fix in an hour.
You are an entitled bitch. I have never in my life seen anybody as entitled as you. It, it just, it makes no sense to me. Well, it's not going to make sense to you. You are the entitled person here. I mean, like I said, I've never seen a more entitled person in my life. And we have an entire generation of entitled people, young people, running around. Entitled Karens running around. And she takes the cake and the crown for all of them. Well, as, as much as you're tired of the begging, I'm tired of doing the begging to be able to eat and to be able to live and to be able to smoke cigarettes and... <sighs> Wait a minute, did I hear that correctly? Somebody said we're tired of your begging. And in her mind, you know, that one brain cell still rattling around in there comes back with, Oh, well, you're tired of me begging. Well, I'm tired of doing the begging to eat and have smokes and just live a life. Um, that's called being an adult. And most adults go get jobs so that they can eat and have cigarettes and live, live a life. They don't go on TikTok eight, nine, ten times a day begging, whining, screaming, and crying, and threatening people, and, and claiming it's their fault if you don't go to rehab. No. You're not tired of begging. Because if you were tired of begging, you would have turned off the live right then and there, called, and went your ass to rehab. But instead, you were back online five more times begging. I, I just pray that one day none of you guys are in my situation, even minus rugs or whatever. I just really hope you never are. And if you are, I hope that you remember this. I really do. This is where I got mad. I am not going to put my personal shit out here, but I am in a worse situation than this entitled bitch right now. I am not on drugs. I am not online begging people for anything, especially not eight times a day begging for shit that I should be responsible for providing. And I am in a worse situation than she is. Minus the drugs, minus the entitlement, minus the arrogance. Minus the stupidity. And my ass is adulting. My ass has a job. She does nothing. But yet, she has the nerve to say something like that? No. I hope you never have to go through what I have had to go through. But you wouldn't know what that's like because you would have had to be an adult first. I really do. <laughs> you can just email it to me. I can add it to my um, Grubhub and I can get food. That's it. <sighs> Save me by not sending me money for cigarettes. And none of what anybody says makes any sense. Like, <sighs> Actually, it does make perfect sense. Because the money is not going to cigarettes. The money is going to drugs. So stopping the money from going to you, from going to drugs, is saving your life. Because, Lisa, you are worth saving. You are worth getting clean and having a happy life. You are worth that. The problem is you don't see it because it is too easy for you to come on here and do what you're doing. Why? Because you've gotten away with it for almost two damn years.
people have been throwing money at you for over a year. The minute you open your mouth and beg for money for this or for that, when you opened your mouth and lied about your son dying of brain cancer, when you opened your mouth and lied that your daughter was dying of leukemia, when you opened your mouth and lied about a daughter dying, although it wasn't even a daughter, it was a cat, when you opened your mouth and lied about your father passing away and he's been well and alive this whole time, when you lied about needing your internet paid, when you lied about them going to shut off your, your uh, electricity in the middle of winter for $50, every time you come on here and beg for money and say it's for something, it is not for that. It is always for one thing and one thing only drugs wow can one of my friends please um do the ca again please I i'm gonna try to get s as many people out as i can i don't need cigarettes <sighs> let's just put it like this over the last couple of days if she was to successfully get rid of everybody in her chat that was telling the truth, she would have had at the most 10 people in her live stream. 10 people that were in there enabling her. That's it. That's how many people were in there telling the truth. Out of 1,400, 1,600 people. She would have had at least at the max 10 people left if she managed to get rid of everybody else. I don't need cigarettes. I don't need cigarettes. Oh. Finally, some truth comes out of her mouth. Even if she is being a sarcastic little bitch right now, she finally stated the truth for once. No, you don't need cigarettes. Oh boy. No, it's it's dollar sign RC fourteen hundred. Dollar sign RC fourteen hundred. And I wanted to get smokes for today and to try to get as many packs as I could to take with me. And then hopefully by then somebody can send a care package or mail some some or, or something. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I, I don't know. I, I don't know you guys. So not only is it the responsibility of all these strangers to give you money for cigarettes. It's now the responsibility of all these strangers to send you care packages of what? Cigarettes. I mean, anytime I think she cannot get any worse, she raises that bar even far farther. It's never ending with her. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I knew more info to tell you. Iris, I, I've told you what I know. Okay, like I said, the CA in no, no, and none of this is, is okay. None of this is okay at all. None of it, none of it, none of it, none of it. You are absolutely correct, Lisa. None of what you do is okay. It absolutely is hate. Absolutely. And absolutely. Can somebody pin the CA, please? Okay, pay very close attention to this phone call. This is her dealer calling. Pay very close attention. I will be playing it again with his voice only and enhanced. That way you can hear exactly what he says. 
it's RC1400. RC1400. Yeah, $40. Okay, it's RC1400. Can somebody please pin the CA, please? Hey, Abby, how much longer do you think I should stay on? Abby uh, Diesel, how, mu how uh, much longer do you think I should stay on? Like? I don't care what they have to say. They're on here talking shit too. Okay, so... <sighs> Alright. Okay, so at the beginning, we all heard him flat out say, you have $40. Now, Lisa's claiming he didn't say that, but that's what he said. The very end of it, and, and just to clarify, he's going to call and tell her that because all the money is going to his cash app, not hers, his. At the very, very end, what we hear, it's very muffled, and I could not get it in hand. Unfortunately, I tried for like an hour, but it sounds like he says, you're not getting any more shit from me until I get $50. Other people heard it as well. It's just hard for me to enhance it. It's been impossible, but if you can turn up your volume as loud as possible, you might be able to hear it too. But here is the enhanced version with just his voice and hers removed. You got $40. Yeah, it's people, people saying shit. Yeah, they're saying shit already. I, I don't know. Now, we've all heard it. We heard it at normal sound, and we heard it at enhanced sound without her loud-ass voice being involved. He said at the beginning, you have $40. That was him telling her that you have now collected $40 in my cash app. Even though she's going to still claim up and down that that's not what he said. First, she tried to say, make it sound like it was Abby or her boyfriend, but then later she claims it was her brother that was calling. We've all heard this voice before. We've all heard it over the phone before. What to do? They're they're being nasty, like just nasty people. Like I'm so just like He didn't say I have forty dollars. He said, Do you have forty dollars? Do I have? Because that's what I wanted to get to take with me. $40 for smoke. But, oh, you guys all heard it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I wanted to freaking get. But you guys have to be so nasty. Why? He didn't say, I have it. He said, did you get your $40? Because when I started this, I said, a pack today would be 10. A pack tomorrow would be 10. A pack Wednesday would be 10. Then Thursday, 10. That's $40. Okay, 40 bucks. Then hopefully by Friday or the weekend, somebody could come. And bring me smokes or a care package or something. That was it. Believe what you want. Believe what you want. I, I, I know the conversations I have, okay? Oh, we don't doubt that you know the conversations you have. You just want us to believe that we heard something wrong. We also were part of that conversation since you were the dumbass that put it on speaker. So because you did that, thinking nobody was going to hear it, we heard it and even if it i don't know if it was even on speaker it might not have been but he was loud enough and the phone was close enough to the microphone to pick it up so we heard it loud and clear so okay oh here we go with the pills unbelievable
Can one of my friends please pin the the CA RC fourteen hundred? Because no, I didn't get forty dollars. If you're on here watching, brother, I di didn't get forty. I literally have free. I just caught that. Now I know later she tries to say that was her brother on the phone, but she literally just there said, "If you are watching, brother, no, I did not get forty dollars." How are you going to sit there and say it was your brother when we just heard the call and, and and heard you literally say Abby and Diesel? Diesel is not any brother's name. Diesel is Abby's boyfriend, who allegedly is also a dealer. I don't know for a fact. I've just heard that. However, we do know what her dealer's voice sounds like, and, well, that was it. It's $6, so... <laughs> So tired of getting on here and getting embarrassed for six dollars. <laughs> he didn't say what I had. He doesn't know what I have. He doesn't know. He doesn't have the CA. No, it's RC fourteen hundred. So n none of my supporters are in here. That's great. That's why I'm getting all this hate. Oh. If, if if one of my supporters that care about me would just send twenty thirty dollars I wouldn't have to get back on here at all at all I could get smokes I could get shampoo I could get all kind of stuff that I needed but here's the kicker and Lisa already knows this but when you arrive at rehab and you don't even have the bare essentials like shampoo toothpaste toothbrush they will provide you that. Just like they will provide you with nicotine patches and three meals a day. Lisa knows this. Nobody does. Like, <sighs> they do what they did this morning. That's what they do. That's what they do. Exactly. They don't care about me. Nobody does. And that Warning, here comes the pity party, woes me, smallest violin in the world moment. That's fine, because it's just, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, $40 would be fine, ma'am, if that's what I had. I can't believe not not one person in here out of 1.4k pinned the CA. I really can't believe it. I need mods on this channel. This new channel is going to be my main page. I need mods on this channel. But nobody wants to pay to mod. They all just want to be like, I'm on, I'm on, but nobody wants to, to, to pay to prove that they're not. I need mods because they could be getting that the hell out of here. Why in the hell would anybody want to pay you to mod on your page? Um, just being a mod on your page would cause anyone to have a nervous breakdown. There's so many people that you would be forcing them to block, yelling at them, actually, because when she does have mods, she treats them like complete dog shit the entire time that she's live. It is horrific. And why would somebody pay you? You are promised to pay them back in a week or two if they prove loyalty to you? Absolutely no. 
Also, it's against TikTok TOS to pay people to mod for you. So good job, Lisa. Yeah, mo modding is 10 to $15. That is it. 10 to 15 it Inflation hits really soon because in another couple clips, she raises it from 10 to 15 to 15 to 20. If you'd send 10 to 15, then you're not against me. That's at least the way I look at it. You're not against me. You're not against me. You're not going to send me $15 if you hate my guts and you're trying to just get in there and I don't know what the hell. No, it's RC1400. Stop putting the wrong CA, please. It's actually R2-D2 and C-3PO. She just doesn't really want you to know. Or that'll be her next one. Please. It's R-C-1400. They're putting all the wrong crap. Just listen. If... I'm going to be on this page a lot. If you do pay the 15 to mod to the RC14. Wait a minute. How the hell are you going to be on this page a lot if you are going to rehab on Wednesday? All you have to do, people, is listen. Listen. She will prove herself a liar without even thinking about it. 1500. Please write me a message. The message. Shit. Where's the charger box? Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Lane. Um, eventful, to say the least. Hey, Amber Jane. I was looking for you earlier. You were one of my peepholes. So if you can't tell that $40 that her dealer called to tell her she had, um, she used it. And now she's back. And she's high off her ass. So high, she's slurring her words. It can barely say the word peoples. Yes, this is what happens when you give her money. She gets offline, and when she comes back on, she's high. Can I elaborate? Were, were you not in the other live lane? Okay, I'll, I'll elaborate. Um, l let me say this first, though, okay? Just in case something happens. Um, I need mods on these new pages, okay? And people are going to get mad at me because of this, alright? But, I explained in the other live. The reason I collect money for modding is because that way I know that you are not against me trying to let scam pages out, trying to give information to people, that's the only reason I do it. Yeah, that's bullshit and everybody knows it. It's your way of scamming more money off of more people. And thankfully, Lisa, people have smartened up to you and don't even want to mod for you anymore because they know to mod for you, they have to pay you. That's not how this works, Lisa. How it works is if you have somebody actually working for you on your page, like the way your mods will be working, like working for you on your page would be like a full-time freaking job because of all the people that come in there telling the truth. 
like 96% of the people in your chats are telling the truth. So you want them out. That's like a full-time freaking job for one mod. You should be paying them, not the other way around. And let's face it, they know they're not going to get their money back. You can say it all you want till the cows come home. They will never get their money back. And I usually give the money back after a couple weeks, okay? Now, there's that, okay? If anybody wants the mod... <laughs> well, I went to my first clinic, the one I've been at for seven years, okay? And... I was going to kill somebody. Like, literally. Um. The hell was that? I, I was literally going to kill somebody. Hello, Moto. Word of advice, Lisa. When you go live, before you go live, put your damn phone on do not disturb so that shit doesn't keep happening it's super annoying and it's super loud i know you're high off your ass right now so you didn't think about it but try to remember that it's already annoying as shit having to listen to you whine and beg for hours but the least you could do is put your phone in do not disturb i have to do not disturb Okay. Amanda, I did not get 40 bucks. Oh my god. You got $40. You got $40. You got $40. Anyways, Lane, okay? And whoever else is listening, okay? I was going to kill somebody there, literally. Like, I was so angry. All right. Um, I, I eventually got to dose at my, you know, home clinic. All right. He said it, you got 40. I didn't get 40. I'm still looking for, for six. You got $40. Cigarette money. But, but anyways, um, how much do I owe who? Why do I use the last name Harvey? Because I was with my boyfriend for 17 years and had four kids with him, and that was his last name, so. Okay, so this brings me to an interesting thing. I don't know, I'm too tired to think of another word. Um, she says over and over, she had four kids with Cole Sr. Awesome. Really don't give a shit who the father of your children are. Except when you lie. She has said it over and over again. Her family has said it. It's even written in his obituary by somebody who made a comment on his obituary. However, do you guys remember that day that she was getting hounded about the date of her food stamp. And she swore up and down it was the third, even though she told everybody it was the first. And then she went on and on about how, oh, I just mixed up the dates. I forgot it was the third. And then she put a screenshot behind her on the green screen of said food stamp account. Do you remember people in the chat asking, who does that belong to? Who is that guy's name? And she said it's Abby's father. His birth father. The male name was not Cole Harvey. We all know that Abby's father, birth father, is Cole Harvey. So that brings me to this point. Whose food stamp account was Lisa using to say it was hers? Because that name on there was not her name. 
was none of her children's name and was not any of her children's father's name. It was just some man's name on the account that she probably forgot to black out. I will show you. There you go. Now what do you got to say, y'all? Hmm. Hmm. What do you got to say now? Hmm. Hmm. They don't come the same day each month, ma'am, because I usually get them on the first. I'm getting them on the third. Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, man. I'm so tired of this crap. I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to lie to y'all. This is so ridiculous. It's my daughter, my oldest daughter's dad is Joseph. If you must know. Oh, I'm lying. I'm still lying. I'm still lying. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so if Joseph McFall is Abby's father, why do you and everybody else say that Cole Sr. is her birth father. Because I looked up Joseph McFall and found him on Facebook. I actually found three of his Facebooks. And guess who he's friends with on all three Facebooks? Lisa, Abby, and Cole Jr. So, Lisa, are all four of your kids really Cole Sr.'s kids? Or did you have an affair at some point and have a couple of kids by somebody else, but tell Cole that they were his kids and tell everybody else that they were his kids? Because why is it for the first time we're hearing about this Joseph McFall only because you pull up your banking statement and a Joseph McFall added 75 cents to your bank account. And when somebody questions you on who this person is, without thinking, you come right out and say, it is my oldest daughter's father. So, I again, I really don't care how many times she spread her legs and how many men fathered her children. The point I'm making is the lies that she is stating. She's now even like, whose kid is Abby now? I mean, it's the constant lies. It's just, it's astounding. The, the length she will go to lie. Did she lie to Cole all those years and tell him that the kids were his? Did she lie just now and say that Abby's dad is this Joseph McFall, but he's not? The, she's never not lied. She's been lying her whole life. And, and we're not talking just little bitty lies, little white lies. We're talking huge, pathological, habitual lying, even to the point of who's her father's children. Like, this is crazy insane. So if people want to say, oh, this is just because of the drugs. Lisa's like this because of the drugs. Absolutely not. Because, I don't know, when her children were being born, I would hope she wasn't like she is right now. I would hope that she was at least a little more sober. But yet she was still lying back then. Because somewhere, Abby has a father and Lisa's claiming two men are the father and we I mean it could be any of the it could be all four children belong to Joseph and she told Cole they were his or they could all be Cole's and she's telling us that, that this one guy is Abby's father it's the lying that is the problem here Okay, for anybody in here who don't know what they're talking about, this this is why I need mods, okay? My brother called me while I was on live, and he said, Did you get your 40? Because I was trying to get $40 
so that I could get smokes today and all the way up until Wednesday. I rest my case on the lying. She's doing it again right here. We all know that it wasn't a brother that called her. We all heard it was her dealer. And we all heard him say, you have $40. We all know she's a liar. But honestly, this goes way deeper than TikTok. It's just like, it's, I don't feel like it's awareness anymore. I feel like it's more like, like F with Lisa. Like, th that's just how I feel, you know? Of course, that's how you feel. Because it's people telling the truth about you that you don't want new people to know about. So, of course, you're going to say it's bullying. You're going to say it's harassment. You're going to say it's being mean or hateful. It's not. It's just literally proving you wrong, proving that you're lying, proving that you're scamming thousands of people on, on TikTok. That's what it is. If you want it to stop, stop fucking scamming people and go to rehab and get help for your family. I know, I, I saw the thing the pizza place put up, okay? That's because everybody was calling down there and telling them that I was, like, scamming, and I don't know what they were telling them. I really don't know what. I don't know how you would order a pizza over Facebook or TikTok. I... I to be honest with you, people wouldn't be calling and complaining about somebody taking their order online and taking their payment, um, but never receiving the pizza. And nobody would have said it was you if there was not some kind of connection. Now, let's say hypothetically she had nothing to do with this. But Lisa, you're saying I wouldn't even have any clue how to do this. Trust me, if there's a way to scam people out of money online, Lisa will figure it out. I don't know. I, I was kind of blown away by it. But that's the only thing I can think of is, you know, people were calling down there saying, you know, Lisa's on TikTok. She's scamming people. She's this, she's that. And, you know, they don't know what to believe, you know. So... I know, and I appreciate that fluffy unicorn, but I, I, I need to get smokes, you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I, I have one dollar, I have one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. There, you guys can really laugh at me now, okay? There you go. Just laugh. Laugh. There you go. Laugh and laugh and laugh. One freaking dollar. And even go get any smokes or any. Like one dollar. <sighs> they are laughing though. They think that it's funny. And it's not funny at all. <sighs> Anybody who smokes knows what it's like to need a smoke. Oh, absolutely. I don't deny that at all. However, no one in history has ever acted the way you are over it, and mainly because it's not about cigarettes.
I know it's my problem. I know it's my problem, but I don't have any money to fix the, to fix the problem. I, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. Okay, so basically she knows it's her problem, but because she has no money, it then becomes our problem. Sorry, Lisa, it does not work that way. It's your problem. Whether you have money or not, it is your problem. I don't have it. I wish I did. They, they they won't let me work. They they said I have to take care of the the IOP and the court stuff and my son's stuff and all this stuff before I can get a job. They won't let me do it. Okay, so she's basically talking about her counselor and the clinic and the judge and everybody else in this scenario because it's all compact into one scenario. Um, I call bullshit on this. No counselor, no judge, no DCF worker is going to tell you that you cannot work until you get all this stuff taken care of. Mm -mm. No. Lisa doesn't want to work because she knows she cannot go to work high every shift that she works. Let, let's just face it. She cannot stay sober long enough for a full eight-hour shift. Hell, she can't stay sober for a two to four hour shift. She knows this. She also knows that a lot of places drug test before they hire you. She also knows they will drug test you while you are working for them. And she also knows that if you go to work high and they catch you, you will be terminated. And more than likely, the police will be called. This is why Lisa will not work. Well, that and she's lazy as shit. You can say not true all you want. That's what they told me. Who told you this, Lisa? Who exactly told you this? The roaches on your wall? Or who? Like, elaborate. Who told you? She can't because nobody told her this. The only thing it's going to take to go to treatment is cig the cigarettes. The same thing as this morning, the cigarettes. $40. So there we have it. Just like last week when she was going to supposedly go to rehab, she did not go to rehab because she says nobody gave her money for cigarettes. She's doing it again. She's not gonna go to rehab if somebody doesn't give her $40 for cigarettes. Just like a couple weeks ago, when she said I'm not going to IOP unless somebody gives me money for cigarettes or food, whatever it was then. I think it was both. It's a way for her to blame everybody else for why she's not going instead of taking accountability for her own ass. She needs to go. We can't force her to go. We can make it harder for her to get drugs to the point where she feels like she may have no choice at that point but to go because there's no more money coming in. But either way, it's going to be our fault. It's going to be our fault because we're not handing her $40 every two hours that she comes online and that's going to be her excuse every time she doesn't go for rehab. Dollars for cigarettes Wednesday. Me some there. This is so ridiculous. Treat me like this. Treat me like this. <sighs> if anybody can help, my CA is the letter C H O O D 400. C Hood 400.
please can you help? None, none of my pe people are in here. None of my friends are in here that can usually help. None of them. I have one dollar. I have one dollar. One dollar. One. Just one dollar. I I all like it's too bad. That's so rude. Like, that's so rude. <sighs> yes, Miss Amy. Forty dollars was all that I was asking for to last through until Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday, I'm, I'm going in. Thursday. I want to have some. And hopefully people can br bring them or send them or something. That's it. All day. Please keep in mind, she has had cigarettes. Her dad buys her cigarettes every day, and she was just with him that morning, and he bought her cigarettes. Also, want to clarify yet again for anybody who is questioning it. Yes, it is okay that we report all these cash apps that she keeps having people use. Number one, these are not her cash apps. These cash apps belong to other people, including dealers. Anybody who sends money to her dealer's cash app, their name and their financial stuff is now connected to her dealer. So if at any time the police, the DEA, anybody get a hold of him and arrest him and go through his phone, guess who's going to be attached to his cash app? Everybody who put money on his cash app. Keep that in mind the next time you want to send her any money. That you will be connected to her dealer. Even though you had nothing to do with her dealer. You weren't buying anything off him. However, what do you think it's going to look like to the police when you are putting money on his cash app? We're also trying to stop this because she is scamming the shit out of everybody. None of this money is going to what she says it's going to. And she's begging for it and taking it and lying for it every couple hours every single day and night this isn't just a one-time thing or a two-time thing or a three-time thing this is literally 24 7 lying to get money scamming people out of their money and then promising them things like i'll mod you if you give me money and the minute they give her money either they're immediately blocked or a few minutes down the line as mods they're removed as a mod and then blocked, claiming they did something bad. She is the ultimate scammer. This is the main reason we are trying to stop the money flow. On top of that is trying to save her life. Because anybody who gives her money could be that $1 or $5 or $10 that ends up being her last breath. Keep that in mind. I did not get 40 earlier. I have one dollar. My brother asked, did you get your 40? But you guys do this to me all the time. <laughs> I don't 
need you to save my life. All I need is cigarettes. You're actually making my life worse by doing this to me. But you don't care because that's not what you're trying to do. That's all you're not trying to help me. Nobody is. Nobody is. Somebody sent one dollar to laugh at me. To freaking laugh at me. Like, I, I don't understand. To laugh at me? It's unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> Lisa, you do this to yourself. Nobody else is doing this to you. This is all because of you. It is because of your lies. It's because of your scams. It's because of your behavior, your drug use, everything. This is all because of you. It all falls down on you, not everybody else. Do I blame the people still sending you money at this point? Yes them too but mainly you I, 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 I'm starting to get really really upset my 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 anxiety's starting to get bad really bad I can't I can't I, I can't write the C yay because my it really bad my anxiety. Calm down. It'll... I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. I've waited. It's 6 p.m. I've waited all day. I've begged all day. I've gotten laughed at all day. Like, none of you guys know what that feels like. Nobody knows what that feels like to get laughed at. It does Oh my god, Lisa, stop with this victim mentality bullshit. You're not being laughed at. You're not being bullied. You're not being attacked. You're not being harassed. You just do not like that people are on your chat telling the fucking truth. You want all these new people to pile in there, and they do. And then they're like, oh, wow, I've never been here before. What's going on? Are you okay? What can I do for you? What can I get you? And then you just, like, your eyes light the frick up. And then you've got a couple hundred people in there telling this person the truth. Before you can even get it out of your mouth. The lies. But then you go ahead and you tell the lies, even though the people in the chat are telling the person the truth. And that's where you get pissed off. That's where you start throwing a fit. Get over yourself. You're not a victim. You're a fucking junkie who needs to go to rehab before you kill yourself. Get over the whole cigarette thing. We know it's not for cigarettes. We know damn well it's not for food. Because through this whole thing, you haven't mentioned food at all. You've just mentioned cigarettes. We know you don't need food. We know you don't need cigarettes. We all talk to your family. They tell us the truth, unlike you. And people have finally started seeing you for who you are. Your so-called quote-unquote friends, actual enablers on TikTok, they're not in your lives because they have finally been run off by you. You have used them and taken advantage of them so much that they have had enough. You've sat here through every live yesterday, messaging them over and over and over and over, begging them for money, and none of them were responding to you. That should have told you something right there, Lisa. You have run off even your last big supporters or enablers. There's supporting and there's enabling. Supporting is being there for that person mentally and emotionally. Then there's enabling consistently giving her money so she will shut her whiny ass up because some people just can't take it no more and instead of just logging off a of TikTok they figured they'll just give her the money and shut her up 
However, once they've given her that money and shut her up, she's back in like an hour and a half to two hours, high off her ass that she can barely even speak and sometimes hold herself upright, that she needs the wall to hold her. That is not helping her. That is helping her kill herself, but it's not helping her in a good way. There, I got my CA pin. And if anybody can send anything to, that's my cash app right there, pinned. I pinned that myself. I have $1. My, I have one dollar. Somebody. And like I said, if if you want, if you want some mod for me, I need help on these pages. Please send me like ten, fifteen dollars. Send it to the C Hood four hundred. Okay. And then write me a message on this page. I'll see it. The messages aren't bombarded because it's a new page. And we'll work something out. I have so many pages I need modded. So many of them. Like this shouldn't even be going on if I had mods. This wouldn't even be going on right now. Honestly, Lisa, it would still be going on because you couldn't get enough mods in there to take care of the thousand people in your chat literally calling you out on the truth. There's not enough mods you could get to pay you to be mod to cover that mass amount of people. Even if you offered to, to have people mod for free, you still wouldn't have enough people to get rid of the amount of people in there telling the truth. And that's the only reason she wants mods. She wants mods to completely block anybody telling the truth. She doesn't want to hear the truth. She don't give a shit about the truth. All she wants is that money for her next fix. I did not get $40. I got a dollar. One dollar. <laughs> I, I, this is crazy. I did not believe this. The pull right here, this little clipboard. Read the little clipboard. It'll tell you what to do, how to do it, and that's it. Okay, well, Jaded, you have to read the clipboard, baby. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I don't know how anybody else feels about it, but it is so cringe and vomit-inducing every time she tries to kiss somebody's ass for money by calling them baby, babe, honey, honey baby. It is absolutely gross. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get what I need for Wednesday. I'm trying to get what I need for Wednesday. So not only not only if you mod, will you be modding my nine pages and helping me out not get hate, but you'll be helping me get what I need for rehab. Again, if you're going to rehab tomorrow, why the hell do you need mods to help you with nine of your pages? You won't be here. Oh, that's right. You don't plan on going to rehab. the hell out of here.
I didn't get the money. My brother called. Look, for whoever wasn't in here for that first live, my brother called on the phone. I didn't even know they could hear. And he said, did you get the 40? Yeah, $40. For smokes. I wanted to get a pack today. Well, today's over, but for tonight, tomorrow, um, and then Wednesday when I went, and then hopefully last until Thursday, until somebody could bring me some smokes. That's what he asked. And of course, they flipped it all around. I really want to get down and get cigarettes, please. Please, and something to eat. Please. Nobody's stopping me. I have a dollar. What the hell am I going to get with that? Nothing. That's exactly what I'm going to get. One dollar. I don't even think they sell things for a talk. I haven't seen anything in a long time over a dollar. Or under a dollar, I'm sorry. And I put on my page, I also put on my page, um... You guys are so worried about just bashing me instead of just sending me one dollar so I can get on and get smokes. One freaking dollar. Actually, Lisa, somebody already sent you one dollar. And you still haven't said thank you for it because you've been whining, bitching, complaining, and crying about only getting one dollar since you got that one dollar. <laughs> bash, bash, bash. It's not your responsibility at all. I'm asking for a favor. That's it. A favor. You guys, you know, you guys would feel bad if something did end up happening to me in the long run down the line because the whole thing I was in the lives. You guys did all this right here. All of And if something would ever happen to me by chance, which it's not, but if it would, don't sit there and post stuff like you cared because you don't, you don't, you don't, you do not, you don't care. Ah, uh, Lisa Manipulation 101 at its finest yet again. And Lisa, we do care. We actually give a shit too much right now. That's why I know we're not giving you any money. We're not going to sit here and fund your drug habit and watch you OD live or end up watching your sister come on live to announce to everybody that you have OD'd. Not happening. We do care. And that's why we're not going to send you any money. That's why we are stopping others from sending you money. Just so you know, and you are aware and clear that that is why nobody is sending you money. I don't want to see it. My family don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone.
Yep, exactly. No one cares about you, Lisa. We just like to bully you. That's exactly right. You don't have to tell me that. I know that. I know that. I'm not stupid. All right? I know it. I know it. I know it. Because guess what? I've been crying on here five times today for a pack of cigarettes. And I still don't have a pack of cigarettes. So guess what? Nobody gives a shit. Yin's like to laugh at me. So. Yeah, that's all. Still nothing. Still nothing. <laughs> Nobody better ask me to be a mod. Nobody better ask me nothing. I swear nothing. It is for cigarettes. It is for cigarettes. <laughs> no offense, Lisa, but why the hell would anybody ask you to have anything to do with their page or their channel or anything? You are a walking disaster. Nobody's going to be running to you begging you to be a mod or to help out with anything. At least not right now. And we sure as hell are not going to pay you to let us mod for your nine pages. Again, get over yourself. Jesse, can you message me? It's not going to help anyways, though, because I don't have a card, honey. <laughs> Well, to the people who think this isn't funny, maybe you should send me $10 so I can get off here and go get a pack of cigarettes. That would be the nice thing to do instead of letting me sit here and keep doing this. But whatever. You think it's funny, too? You think it's real funny, too? No friends? Nobody fucking cares? Everybody cares until it's time to not care anymore. <laughs> then it's, oh, screw Lisa. We don't care about her. Her. <laughs> it's just a joke anymore. <laughs> one dollar. What the hell am I supposed to do with the one freaking dollar? <laughs> well, uh, you said you were hungry, right? And since you sold all your food stamps for drugs, you can take that one dollar, go down to the Dollar Tree, or anywhere, really. Actually, there's a family dollar about a 20-minute walk from your house. And you can go there and buy three packets of ramen noodles for a dollar. Solves your I-need-food problem. I can't even... I wanted to walk down to the corner store. I'm so tired. I wanted to walk to the corner store, not the gas station. But... She has to elaborate that because, well, there is no gas station within a five-minute walking radius. And as far as I can still see on the map, there's no corner store either. But what do I know? I'm just sitting here looking up the facts and putting them out there. Oh, well. It don't matter. It's, 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 wow. Wow. I'm over the whole thing. It is all of it. Be grateful. What am I, I grateful for, Becca? What should I be grateful for? The people that were bullying me? Should I be grateful for that? Yeah, Becca. What is she supposed to be grateful for? Come on, Becca. I mean, you told her she had to be grateful. What is she supposed to be? I'm sorry, Becca. I really am sorry. I <laughs> I'm sorry, Becca. I couldn't do it. I love it when she calls people out and yells at them like that. It's like it's really going to hurt their feelings because <laughs> they're proving that she's lying. It's it's sad but there's some parts of this that you have to just take it with humor or it's going to drive you insane 
I generally care about her life. I generally care or genuinely care whether she lives or dies. And at this rate, she's not going to be living much longer. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Lisa, not Becca. Becca's going to live and be probably happy for a long, long time. <laughs> Lisa, on the other hand, if she doesn't get her shit together and get to rehab, probably will not. Uh, the fact that I haven't had cigarettes in 12 hours, should I be grateful for that? I mean, I don't understand what you want me to be grateful for. I, I really don't. <sighs> So nobody will send $10 so I can go get a pack of cigarettes. Nobody. Nobody. And they're all just going to sit there and be culpable to watching me get bullied and harassed. That's what you guys are all going to do? That's what we're going to do? That's what we're going to do? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Whew. Okay, so I warned you guys this was going to be a very long video. There was not much I could do about this. This was all one day's worth of shit. One day. And I cut it down to an hour and 40 minutes. I actually cut out some good parts and threw out some good clips just to make sure that some of these more important clips stayed in there. Or this would have gone way over two and a half hours and I'm not doing that I don't have the patience and you don't have the patience so yeah I kept it as it was uh, like I said the information on what she was talking about uh, this new guy being Abby's father I don't know if it's really Abby's father and I hope who knows however this guy is connected to them in some form or fashion I do have the if you want to call it receipt, I have it. I can show you they're connected. I can show you this guy and blah, blah, blah. You're more than welcome to message me on Discord. I am in, in, in the uh, Discord. And you can email me or email me. Anyways, so this was one day. Yesterday. Just one day. This was a lot. Like, I don't know how she didn't pass out. It is actually amazing how many times she will go live and beg and cry for money and unfortunately it's not for cigarettes or food it's it's sad she needs to get help and it needs to be immediately before we wake up one morning and she is no longer living among us and none of us want to see that we want to see her get better. We want to see her thrive, get her son back, and be happy. She deserves that. I just wish she knew it or understood it. At this point, the only thing she understands is that she needs more drugs. And that's it. And she's not going to get help. She's just not going to get help on her own. That's the problem. She's not going to get it on her own. The one thing we need to continue doing is making sure that this money is not flowing into her dealer's cash apps. Uh, not only, you know, just to save her life, but to stop all these other people, these innocent people from being scammed by her. It's got to stop. If it doesn't stop, I, I'm afraid in the next two to three weeks, she's not going to be with us anymore. And as much as I may make fun of her here at times, poke fun of her here and there, I do generally care, genuinely care about her well-being. And I will continue making these videos. I will continue bringing awareness so that people will see, do not give this woman money. And I'm happy to do it to help in some way. Okay, so she's already been online several times this morning. So now it's time for me to start the next video. Um, I'm going to get something to eat first and then go ahead and work on it.
but I will see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Bye.